Zella Zone Zero. We have a developer notice, uh, which came actually through Twitter. So we're going to take a look at it through there. But I've already read through it, uh, but we're going to summarize it. But they are showing that they're actually listening. Uh, very surprising that developers from Hoyo are actually listening and are listening pretty closely. Um, so we're going to get like a bunch of updates in both 1.1 and 1.2, I guess, because some of the stuff that they're promising us will actually take some time for them to add to the game. But it is what it is. One thing we should all really look that's really important is this over here, this comment by Rednu, and that is the addition of being able to cancel chain attack combos or and then like a manual chain attack which is really 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 big i like i made a video about i made two videos about the chain attacks on zena zone zero you guys can go ahead and check it out but one of them for sure is becoming kind of redundant because of this feature is being added which is actually a good thing because my that video explains how you might want to just let the timer on the chain attack just get to zero and don't do it at times because that could get you more dps but here you have the option of just canceling it which is great because sometimes chain attack as cool as it is absolutely absolute garbage thing to do uh, for your DPS, especially if you're free to play, don't have a full team built, your only invested character is your DPS. So doing a chain attack is actually hindering your DPS uh, when you do a chain attack, but being able to cancel absolutely needed. And uh, that's going to be a thing. So to kind of summarize it, for the most part, we are going to be getting a manual or a button for manual chain attack. So you can add, kind of activate your chain attack. You choose between manual mode or, or not. And then now you have the manual trigger to do your chain attack at times whether you want it or not which is great it allows you more options makes the combat a little bit more dynamic and it's something that a bunch of people have been wanting so that's good and this is coming to us in 1.1 by the looks of it so i think this is very good overall and they're also promising us a little bit more end game content more difficult stuff for us to try which i'm really looking forward to because although my characters aren't super built and I can't really finish all the shield defense. I do see it getting, you know, not too exciting. Um, I think overall the game does need a little bit more difficulty added to the game to make things a little bit more interesting, more dynamic, and something um, that's a little bit more streamable to be completely honest. And then it just goes into like a little bit more minor stuff like the UI and all that stuff, which, you know, we kind of just have to wait and see how it goes. So there you go. Now this fairy assistance thing is um, a bit of a question mark we'll just have to see how they implement it i don't really know it seems to be coming to us in version 1.2 so we'll probably get more details about that during 1.1 or during the 1.2 live stream they'll likely do so that one's a little bit like whatever we'll just have to wait and see um more details but it looks like it could be helpful i'm hoping it doesn't come with a paimon because that would not be appreciated but we'll see how they end up initiating that one and then there is an x uh kind of a speed up button for some stuff which is great because sometimes you just want to speed through things i personally sometimes want to just get to the combat at times this other one over here is actually really interesting it allows you to kind of change the time a little bit more dynamically uh, which is great because right now all you have to do is press one button and it only advances this time forward you can't go back to like the morning or day which makes some um, tackling some side quests really annoying uh, but having a little bit more freedom um to kind of choose what time what day time or nighttime time you want even though kind of breaks the realism I actually think for a video game is better in this case because if it's nighttime and I can't do the thing thing until morning but I can't advance to the next day without progressing like other things I would rather just be able to press a few buttons select what time I want to go and do the darn thing because I just want progress so this is going to be great honestly then some of uh, some more optimization which is like whatever but then we come into something I think is actually really big and I think a lot of us are going to appreciate it i think people that are um, have zhu yuan are going to like this a lot so there will be instances in the hub world where we're where we usually control wiser bell but instead of controlling wiser bell we will be able to control other agents you have that you have so for those of you wanting to look at zhu yuan's rear end a little bit more and in game versus just fan art you are in luck because you will be able to do that at some point i'm assuming this isn't going to come out until at least one 1.2 oh sorry optimization is expected to be implemented in later versions so this is not going to happen until at least 1.3 now the thing about this is that we'll see how they implement this if it's going to be whenever you want or if this is going to be tied to certain quests and whatnot i have a feeling that when you're tackling a 
the main story, the main story quest or whatever, you are going to be locked between Wiser Bell. But maybe when you're like caught up to everything and or whatever, you'll be able to select who you want in the hub world. Maybe it's locked behind a story quest or what have you, which would be a little less unfortunate. But we will see how they decide to implement this down the line. But I'm actually quite excited for this because staring at Bell all the time is fine. But when you have the option of looking at your other characters in the hub world and seeing them interact with their things, I think it's just a, a nice little touch that we could always have. All right, I know there are people in chat that definitely want to be able to look at Zhu Yang's rear end in game <laughs> beyond just focusing on combat. Because how can you look at Zhu Yang when you're focused on dodging and parrying? Am I right? You want to walk around with Ellen? Yeah, I would love to walk around with Ellen. If she can also do her running thing, great. Now all they need to do is add casual wear as skins for the hub world and we're all set with the characters that we have. Am I right? Lycon and his tail, right? We will be continuously improving the models for some agents to provide proxies with an improved visual experience. I honestly don't understand this because I think their visuals are stellar, especially combined with the animation, but I guess there are some very picky people if they're going to improve it, I'm not going to complain, but I do wonder what issue this comes with. Maybe it's some clipping stuff that I haven't noticed. Maybe Lycan's tail clips a little bit. I don't know. I honestly don't know because I, I have no complaints about the models of the agents or what have you. Like anyone in chat know? Soldier 11 goggles are bad. I don't have Soldier 11, so I don't, I, I don't, I didn't notice. And they are open to taking our suggestions. So maybe these are, this is going to be one of those things where if they have a, a survey, we should actually fill it up and let them know what we want or have complaints about because so far they're showing that they actually listen to us so that's a good thing i'm happy with this let's hope this continues down the line because i think they have something this game has potential and i would like to see it succeed but that's all i have to say you can let me know in the comments down below what would update what what thing that they've mentioned in this tweet you are most looking forward to but that will be all for this one